how's it going, everyone? So much for recording live. I mean, I did get a couple of matches from the Battle of Helen that were live. I mean, I posted one match with my friend Ruins Way, and that was kind of a long battle, but luckily for me, I managed to save three battles that I was going to live narrate, but my iPhone was hacking up. I didn't know what was wrong with that, so my apologies on that. Um, but here we are with the first battle. Uh, if you don't know what my team was, definitely go check out my team analysis video. It should be up there. That was the first video that I made when entering the Battle of Helen. It's to describe my team first before I manage to go into battle, so. Anyway, so, hope you all enjoyed. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give me a like and subscribe. Here we go. Um, I should probably turn on the sound. You think I should do that? Sure, let's try it. Uh, there we go. Alright. So, you see that my opponent leads off with a Crobat, who is a very fast Pokemon. And so, I expected that to happen, which means I start off using my Gyarados to get off the Intimate. And that worked out pretty well. Unfortunately for me, this Crobat here has U-Turn. And he goes into his lantern, which was a good play on his part because he would dodge the ice type move, ice fang, and then maybe waterfall too. But luckily for me, I get that nice 10% freeze hats. I never get that, but that came right to my favor there. That's, that's just, that's great. But you know what? It's not going to last very long because of this lantern going for Scald, and that did not burn me, which is amazing. If, if he burned my Gyarados, then I wouldn't be too awesome there. And now everything is going downhill because I don't kick out the lantern. This lantern is pretty bulky, so uh, he hits me with a Volt Switch, which is unfortunate. So he gets to knock out my first Pokemon. But now we can go into my second Pokemon, which is Mawile. And uh, for those who don't know, I actually have this Mawile with a Lumberry just for Sableye. They end up going for a Will Whisper too. He's not going to burn me right off the bat there because of the Lumberry that I have. And so right there, I expected him to switch out, which means I go for a free Sword Stance. And uh, I was going to go for the uh, Sucker Punch right there, but that didn't work out too well either because, um... Man, so many things go wrong in this battle, but yeah, I was expecting him to go for a Water-type move, but he went for Rain Dance. And let's see why. Uh, I actually do lock out his Lantern, which is awesome, but unfortunately for me, he has a Logicolo, which... Really cool. I don't really face that many of these, but it's working out here because of its rain dish ability or swift swim. Here though, it looks like it's swift swim. So I was thinking, okay, I can probably protect right here and then we can outspeed him. We'll see how we do. Um, because obviously a surf is going to KO me for sure. Blaziken in its mega form is not very... Well, I mean, its defenses are okay, but not great. Luckily for me, I get that second protect. Which you never get that. It's a 25% chance that I got that. Very awesome. And here I go for the fire punch, because I know that the rain was going to fail on this turn. Or, in other words, it would go down. But you know what, he's going to set it back up, which is unfortunate. So, my chances of winning this battle are not looking too good there. I'm like, you know what, let's get a critical hit. But I don't get that, and it's actually enough to take out Logicolo, which, which is great. Um, but unfortunately for me, uh, I don't have anything that would hit Crobat. Because Fire Punch wouldn't do very much because of the rain. High jump kick is not very strong, and yeah, I have Shadow Claw, that's the only option I have. I'm very, very, very close to KOing that Crobat there. And he's going to KO me right back with that powerful Brave Bird. Um, 
I haven't faced that many combat in more or less swallow, uh, I guess Mega Salamence is the most popular bird type Pokemon there in this tournament, but that was a great battle, uh, right there. So thank you to my opponent, and, uh, battle number two, or I guess battle number three, because I made my first battle with a live narration, and then this one is my second. So the third battle is coming right up here tomorrow, so be on the lookout for that. Make sure you like this video if you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Alright, bye now.